the 17th of the 6th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Had a good day today. Um, put up some now videos. Um, so let's get to business. Uh, what's new out of Fukushima? Fukushima, they got, um, they're hunting some whales some 650 kilometers off the coast of Fukushima. And uh, wouldn't you know it, those whales are radioactive. Uh, they detected cesium. <clears throat> and they're unable to profit from that harvest. So, the truth spills out. And, um, it just continues. The madness continues. That is Fukushima. Uh, if I find any videos, of course, I will attach them below. Um, if you have any, please attach them. Um, let's go on to, of course, we have the fires in Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado, um, Georgia is reporting some forest fires. They're saying um, they're having a drought style in southern um, Georgia and they're having dry thunderstorms roll through and uh, causing fires down there. That's just not a good thing. Uh, let's see what else is going on. We have a fish kill in the River de Perez in the state of Missouri, the St. Louis area. Apparently the uh, the Asian um, carp, uh, that's a big trouble. There's a huge fish kill going on down, and of course the officials are saying that sometimes the, the river backs up and uh, the oxygen stagnates and the, the fish just ran out of oxygen. Yeah, yeah, that's what happened. Um, so we've got a fish kill in the St. Louis area, a big one, obviously. Um, flash flooding in Turkey. Now Turkey had some, some severe... Um, thunderstorms, of course, flooding. They're telling people to stay off the streets. They had hail so thick that it was like four inches thick of hail and um, all kinds of madness going on that is in Turkey. Um, Cape Town, South Africa. Um, they're reporting flash flooding, um, severe weather. Uh, flash flooding in Australia, the state of New South Wales. Um, that condition continues. Uh, they're saying up to 16,000 people are now displaced or trapped, and uh, but they've got to break some dry weather coming up, hopefully, according to their weather service. Um, <clears throat> of course, the, the earthquake in um, Ethiopia, the forest fires in Russia continue, and uh, over to earthchangesscott.net. Winds spread wildfire, more flee near Arizona City. A residents in the outskirts of Sierra Vista, Arizona were told to evacuate Thursday after 40-foot flames jumped a highway and high winds briefly grounded an air attack. The uh, story continues, and again, this is the biggest fire in history down there. Ash clouds spreads from erupting Nabro volcano in er Eritrea. And um, that's the one just north Ethiopia, and um, that big ash cloud is rolling up through Egypt right now, and it's off on its way into the Middle East, and it's going to cause all kinds of havoc up there. Uh, the 5.2 earthquake in Alaska, they're reporting 90,000 people still homeless in Japan after earthquake. Uh, tens of thousands of people are still living in shelters in Japan three months after a powerful earthquake and ensuing tsunami devastated by the country's northwestern coast. And of course the, the TEPCO and uh, Japanese government lies continue. Um, all governments in the world um, and the United Nations are covering this up. It is a damn shame and um, just goes to show you what's really going on. They are not where is everybody? Insane. It's insane. Uh, rain helps put out some Florida brush fires. Um, so those fires down uh, a massive brush fire that has been burning for nearly a week is almost extinguished thanks to some heavy rain. Since last Sunday, fire crews have been trying to put out a brush fire uh, which consumed more than 50, 58,000 acres in the Everglades. And they got some rain and <clears throat> of course that helps put the fires out, doesn't it? India, heavy rains sweep away uh, a bridge, apparently a very important bridge, the 700 bridge connecting uh, the Pilgrim town from the city, um, yeah, disrupting traffic along the road, no kidding. 
over 100 dead in China floods, and again, the Chinese floods continue. Heavy downpours to hit South, South China again. And uh, here's a crazy story. Ghostly rainbow floats over Washington. Now, this is um, definitely one to pay attention. They have a big rainbow cloud over Washington State. A colorful apparition materialized over Washington this week. The rarely glimpsed rainbow-tinted specter appeared at, and vanished in the same in the space of just minutes. Fortunately for anyone who didn't look up precisely at the right moment, an enterprising residence, uh, blah, 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 somebody shot it. My wife said, wow, look at that. Too bad you don't have your camera. And poof, he did. So um, there's a really rainbow in the sky picture uh, going on. Pretty cool, actually. And that might be um, one of those lights that reported up in the air above the Chinese before the Chinese earthquake. And uh, something we might want to look into. Uh, electrical fire knocks out spent fuel cooling at Nebraska nuclear plant. Um, this is ongoing at the Fort Calhoun nuclear plant. This is where um, the power went out and they lost the pumps for 90 minutes. Um, but they say everything's under control. Nothing to worry about, guys. And over to the extinction protocol. Kamchatka volcanoes add SO2 atmospheric inundation as eruptions intensify. They have an, um, a video of these Russians, you know, the twin volcanoes that have been erupting for, I don't know, a few months now. Uh, the, apparently the eruptions continue, and this is volcanic ash throwing up into the air, and of course they're, they're climate changers. Cambodia's mortality rate for bird flu, um, it's up to six people this year. It's just another scare, bird flu, bird flu. Um, strange sun, red moon, burning sky, to uh, fear peace. Um, Europe on the brink of crisis as drought conditions worsen. Uh, Paris, one of the driest spring seasons on record in northern Europe, has sucked soils dry and sharply reduced river levels to the point that governments are starting to fear crop loss in France. In particular, is bracing for blackouts as its river-cooled nuclear power plants may be forced to shut down. Story continues. Second eruption at Ethiopian volcano more powerful than the first. Here we go, volcanoes, volcanoes, volcanoes. Russia and China warn West against interfering in Syria. So you better not do it. Better not. Blood red moon of lunar eclipse seen around the world. <clears throat> June 16th out of Sydney, Asia and African night owls were treated to a lunar eclipse as ash in the atmosphere from a Chilean volcano turned it into blood red for some viewers. Well, the Sydney Observatory said the eclipse was to begin at 3.25 a.m., Thursday and last until about 5 a.m. Scientists said the specific phenomenon was happening Thursday known as the deep lunar eclipse. Often exodus a coppery color, but the intensity of the color depends on the amount of ash and dust in the atmosphere. Luckily for moon gazers, there was plenty of ash in the air, so the moon appeared orange or red, especially in Asia. Air travelers haven't been so lucky. The ash has grounded hundreds of flights around the region. Scientists said the eclipse could be safely observed with the naked eye. The <clears throat> ah, new E. coli outbreak in France. Locust swarms destroy crops in Russia. Uh, Moscow, locust swarms devouring crops in the um, Astrakhan region in Russia, causing officials to declare a state of emergency for the area. The locusts have already affected 19,000 um, or more acres of cropland. They declared a state of emergency. They're looking to tackle through pesticides <laughs> with 654 acres treated so far. Yay! Pesticides. And then they're going to sell that to their people. And that is about all I have for you tonight. Of course, if I missed anything, please attach your videos below or leave your comments. I appreciate all your help, and enjoy what you can, everybody. More silly videos to come.